Hey everyone, this is Carnage Panda coming back with more Cthulhu Saves Christmas. No, I was having some audio issues because I'm dumb, but I, I fixed them, so... Let's, uh, let's get back into this game, so... Uh, let's see, I wanna, I wanna get some of these other areas I haven't been to before. I guess those are all accessories, but, but let's uh, check out Bellstickle first. Cthulhu decides to spend some time with Bellstickle. Cthulhu, it's good to see you. I was hoping you'd come and visit me sometime. Really? You want to spend time with me? Is that so hard to believe? In fact, I have a little gift for you. Candy! Bellstickle throws a handful of candy up into the air. Weird, man. Very weird. You should hand things to people like a regular person. Pick up the candy. If you dare. So that's how you're playing this. Fine. Yeah. Cthulhu lunges for the candy, but before he reaches it, his hand is struck by a whip. The time! Ouch! 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 Cthulhu, you've been very naughty. I'm not the one who just whipped someone for trying to get a piece of free candy. Besides, haven't you heard? I'm the good guy of this game. Be that as it may, rules are rules. Eat your candy, Cthulhu. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Mid-sentence, Cthulhu tries once more to grab a piece of candy. This time, the whip knocks the candy out of the way. Then a follow-up snap of the whip strikes Cthulhu across the face. What is wrong with you? You don't want to know. I give up. Take your stupid candy. I'll buy my own at the store. Don't be like that. It's all in good fun. Here, take this one. Thanks. Ow, again? Last time, I promise. On the way home, Cthulhu buys a whip to give to Bellstickle as a peace offering. A peace offering? That's ridiculous. I just want the higher stats for better gear. Cthulhu got a stone whip. This weapon for Bellstickle boosts earth damage. It's now Christmas Eve the 17th. Okay. Uh, we haven't been to the pet store yet. Cthulhu decides to go to the pet store. You look like a discerning individual. Can I interest you in a Pomeranian, a Shibu Inu, an Iramote cat? I am just browsing, let me be feeble mortal, before I cause your brain to leak out of your ears. The owner decides now is a good time to tidy up other parts of the store. Cthulhu, is that you? Pause, what are you doing here? Altharian slave traders caught me when I separated from the rest of my crew. Several transactions later, I ended up here. They've been injecting me with a drug that suppresses my power, so I'm not able to break out myself. Please, you have to help me. What's in it for me? The satisfaction of helping out an alien in need? You're gonna have to try a lot harder than that. I'm locked up in a cat cage. I don't exactly have a lot to barter with. You know what I want. No, you wouldn't. I would. The Ultharian attachable ears have been a holy relic in my family for generations. And I want them. No, that's non-negotiable. There has to be something else you want. Can you restore my power? I didn't think so. Please, be reasonable. When have I ever been reasonable? Fine, take them. Cthulhu got the cat ears. This item could inflict charm on an enemy. Now come on and get me out of here. I'm not really feeling it today. Maybe next time. You squid-brained old one, get back here! Cthulhu leaves the pet store. Now, what about the, uh... Okay, we can go to the beach and the graveyard. Cthulhu decides to spend his day at the Christmas Land graveyard. Many of the tombstones have holly wreaths placed in front of them. Candy canes are also a frequent occurrence. Cthulhu decides to read a few of the messages on the gravestones. I like the one that has a chicken on it. Melinda Greeland, first victim of the Great Winter Uprising of 2010. Trampled to death by a horde of cyber elves. You got to leave as of blah, blah, blah. Beloved son, father, uncle, nephew, cousin, step cousin, boyfriend, pen pal, chiropractor, and radiologist. Alpha and Ors. In the end, he did not win. In the end, the end was him. Teresa Tess. If we could have one more moment with you, we'd ask you what the Wi Fi password was. Sander Lynch. Remember to put a funny message here before the game ships. Roki Smith, a lesson to us all, the lesson be to never spook a reindeer while standing within kicking distance. Cthulhu tires of reading gravestone messages. Cthulhu sees a woman in a purple dress kneeling in front of a large tombstone. 
Cthulhu approaches the woman, but when she sees him, she runs off. Maybe if you return to the graveyard uh, another day, you'd be able to talk to her. Next to the one of the gravestones, Cthulhu sees a chicken laying an egg. Badly. Cthulhu got a rotten egg. This accessory for Baba boosts her poison damage. Alright, let's... I guess the soup kitchen will do next time. I think uh, this might be the last one. If it's not, then I will go to the soup kitchen. Cthulhu decides to spend his day at the beach. I don't know, what would be a good option? Let's play volleyball. Cthulhu decides to play volleyball. Lacking a net, ball, or indeed other players, this is indeed an extreme undertaking. Nothing is too difficult for the mighty Cthulhu. Using a combination of wet and dry sand, Cthulhu crafts an ungainly looking ball. Now if I launch the ball high up in the air, that will provide enough time for me to return the serve. This won't work. Silence! Here goes! Splat! Upon impact with Cthulhu's fist, the ball of sand explodes into its component sand molecules. I never did like volleyball much anyway. As night falls, Cthulhu returns home from his day at the beach. Cthulhu finds a package on his front door. The previous resident must have ordered something a long time ago and forgotten to change the address. Cthulhu got an Aqua Cloak. The accessory for a crystal boosts ice damage. I'm sorry, the week is almost over and I don't have any leads on our next target. I'm at a loss. Nothing to report, boss. Foolish followers, you just need to have faith in the narrator's ability to come up with a contrived reason to keep this video game going. Just then, a flying reindeer comes crashing into the ground in front of you. Right on cue. Robbie the reindeer? What happened to you? The reindeer is bleeding heavily from several open wounds. Oh, it's terrible. Just terrible, snow mating. All of the reindeer have been locked up and are being treated horribly. We tried to fight back and escape, but I'm the only one who got out. I'm afraid that they're treating the others even worse now. Who's responsible for this? It's the Mary Lud. She's always been jealous of us reindeer for being Santa's preferred mode of transportation and with him out of the picture. Mary Lud. It's an undead skeleton horse. Try to keep up. Typical one. I beseech you, fly to my kinsman post haste and rescue from the Mary Lud. I don't know about any rescuing, but it would be my pleasure to grind that skeleton to dust. But first, we need to treat your wounds. Forget about me. The longer you wait, the more torment the other day reindeer will receive. Well, you see the narrator only lets us do one major thing a day, before telling us to go to sleep. It's a bother. And since we've already talked to you today, we're quite stuck. So just let me treat your wounds and we'll go fight the very blah 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 first thing tomorrow. Well, if we put it that way, then I must accept your kind offer. No. There's no time for pointless acts of kindness. You must go to sleep now! Actually, there's a little time left, so if you wanted to... No, I will not say pointless NPCs just because I have nothing better to do. But... No buts. Now hobble over to the free clinic and receive the care you urgently need sometime in the undisclosed future. And with that, the day finally draws to a close. Oh my gingerbread! Why, just a few days ago, the reindeer lands were a beautiful paradise with flowers. Everything has been destroyed. It's like a bomb went off here. Bagok! Nicely put, Cluck Cluck. Yes, yes, it is a delightful wasteland, and we should thank the Mary Blirlingoff for her fine landscaping work. It does have a certain destructive flair to it if you squint at it really hard. Stop squinting. This place looks terrible. Remember, our goal is to defeat the Mary Blirlingoff and it's rescue Santa. What happens to the reindeer is of no consequence. I'm rescuing the reindeer. Of course you are, just don't get in my way. Uh, so it occurred to me when I was looking at the um, menu after the, the last episode that I didn't equip items and I guess uh, I can't uh, equip anything more because these are these are locked off. I don't know if they, they get expanded later or if I can only equip four items at once. But yeah, that's uh, that's what I got. Okay, this seems like it's a little better. That's all we've got. I think we got a new rope for her, which isn't any better. 
Oh, I guess these, these are giving me resistances to those kinds of attacks. And this one gives uh, ice damage up, okay. And also more power. Oh, but this gives a lot more other stuff. Okay, I'll take it. Alright, I think I got a better one for you. Slightly better. Just old candy. Alright, that, that should be good. Now that I have items equipped, I, I probably won't do as terribly as I did in the last episode. Or maybe I will. I also changed up their, their equipped skills, so... Wow, that hit hard. Are these all the party members I get? I, I think you got like eight in the first one. All right. We got a thousand four out of that one. That's barely any XP too. Okay, I can't go in there. Can't go in there. Wait, the poison heals him? No! That's terrible! Or did they heal themselves? Oh man, that guy has a ton of HP. That barely did anything. Oh, okay, this guy's healing. I don't like you then. You have to die. You have to die horribly. Oh, that seems to be working good against him. Two ninety one, not bad. Okay, we're running out of attacks. Alright, he's done. Yeah, we're getting a thousand XP now and it's it's not uh, doing enough. Okay, maybe there's something down there and, and I should go investigate. Maybe there's something over there too. Now I'm just waiting for some enemies that, that are going to have um, poison resist or it's going to heal them. And I'm going to be super uh, salty about that. We could get swords, huh? Oh, very we could get swords. Secret Santa?
Okay. Oh, we got 2,000 XP out of that one. And we leveled up. Barely get any stat ups that level up. Toil and Trouble. Doubled next to ailment power. That that could be useful, but I don't I don't know. Watch me go over here, there be there's gonna be nothing. Oh of course. Alright, we gotta take out their healer. That guy's just a jerk. Oh, we got tentacles, so might as well use that. Get rid of that guy because he's gonna do healing, and I don't like healing. Oh, they're they're all uh the Mwahaha Ma. Okay. Very wickiest poison. Wonder why. Alright, we're down to six battles. Seems like it's uh, getting progressively more difficult because they, they keep getting more and more uh, HPs. Now we'll go back down to skills. I should actually try out these Unite abilities. Manliness. Or maybe not. Uh, none of that seems very useful. Do you have anything that's useful over here? Not for our, not for a random battle, it seems. Call the Kraken. Why not? Uh... Maybe there's like nine party members? I don't know, I'm just making that up. But that's like the only way I could see there, because it seems like there's, there's one for each. Unless there's just four party members for the entire game. You know, that, that's really rude, man. You should be healing them. All right, that got him. Let's uh, remove this guy. No, why would you do that? That that that's specifically evil. I think the poison will take him out. Or the dark void will. Oh, you need heal. Oh wow, they still have so much HP left. It's very vulnerable. Um, okay, you need to, to guard. Stop hurting my Cthulhu! Well, that could have hurt a lot more. 
Why are you still alive? About time. Will we make it to 20? Probably when I get that um, bonus XP for clearing out all the battles. Alright, uh... Madness. All insane. Reset user insanity slots. The Naughty Strike. Okay, 100 to 200% physical damage. More damage if user's HP is low. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna go for that. Um, seems better than Bash. For a uh, Naughty Strike. There we go. Nothing over there. Haven't found any loot yet. There's some loot. Probably should have just stuck around there and gotten that battle. Oh wait, we got tentacles. Let's use that first. Doesn't like the lightning damage. Well, Bash will still come up. Why oh, you gotta have so many HPs, man? Oh damn, that actually did some damage. You know what, let me, let me try some items out. Heal 100 HP, cure ailments, unstoppable buff. You're now unstoppable, Cthulhu. I wish that would have done more damage. That barely went up. Oh, Cthulhu's about to die. And as I've learned, we can't resurrect them when they go down. Okay. <coughs> Still not good enough, huh? A party heal, okay. About time. Now we're getting 2,000 XP per battle. what I find? what I find? You got a shield breaker. This item can inflict vulnerable on an enemy. Okay. Uh, do I... Will I ever get an item that'll just, like, resurrect? Or any resurrection abilities? Gotta be careful with the, the insanity, though. Wow, these guys just have so much HP, and I don't know why. They just like to stick around. Alright, we're taking a lot of damage here. Uh, you're about to go down. Try charming that guy. Don't what? Uh, 
Oh, the charm only lasts for one one turn. Oh man, they are doing so much damage right now. I gotta get rid of these guys. They're they're doing so much damage. Oh no, um, you need to heal yourself. That only got him up to 49? It said it was supposed to get him up to 100. Uh oh. Oh shit. Um... Well, Cure and Heal are two different things. This guy has to go down. He's he's uh dude, those guys are devastating. That, that was close. more abilities. Okay, so... Maybe it was because I drove them insane. Oh, this one gives a, gives a party heal? Okay. I'm gonna have to keep my my uh, I have to keep that in my memory so that I can use it. In emergencies when I need it. Recharge an item. Okay. Oh, you're you're completely wiped out there. About time. My battle's getting so much harder. The, the emblems really mean though. I'm gonna have to familiarize myself with them at some point. That should hit really, really hard. Uh, yeah, it's, it's recharged. I don't know why I would need to recharge it right now. get rid of this guy. Poison should take him out, so... All 
All right, there we go. Does anybody actually need healed? I guess you do. Oh, for the party. I wish I knew what Unstoppable actually did. Can I get a party protect out of that though? Okay, you can't even do anything right now. No, we might actually hit 21. Uh, this is a dead end. This is a favorable encounter. Do not like that. Don't ever do that again. That was good. Get rid of their healer. Don't really need that guy sticking around. Oh, they are weak against poison, though. How come it says uh, it does 100 HP, but it's only doing 50? Is that because he's in negative HPs? Is that, uh, I, I, I'm not sure I understand that. They're all going to die this round. Well, they would if I had um, enough physical attacks. Which I don't. I got 10,000 experience. Which was not enough to get me to 21. Barely not there. But I don't have to fight any more battles now. I could if I wanted to. We got an occult sword. This weapon for Cthulhu gives him the Necronomicon buff at the start of battle. But how good is it? Is there any more loot around here? I have to know. It doesn't look like it.
A lot of wide open, empty spaces in this game. Alright, I think we might be coming up on the boss here. Or maybe not. There's more loot. And there's more loot up there as well. A broken pestle. Increase her vulnerable power. Makes her a lot faster. I mean, she's supposed to be my debuffer, so I don't really see what the reason to keep her power up really high is, is gonna help me. A death robe. This armor for Crystal gives her the unstoppable buff at the start of battle. This actually gives her more power? Damn. It doesn't actually give them de a defense power, it gives them um, resistances to everything. The locked up reindeer are over there. Along with the berry blah, blah, blah. How do you like my handiwork, granddaughter of the Jolly One? How could you? How could I? How could I? Year after year, the Jolly One ignored me in favor of flying deer. I could fly, I could pull a sleigh, I could appear in Christmas cards that have festive songs written about me. Actually, you do have some songs about you. None that have gone platinum. I hate to interrupt this wine fest, but I'm on a tight schedule here. It's time for you to disappear. I would have thought a fellow undead would understand. Oh, I'm not undead. Really, I was positive. Probably thinking of Breath of Death 7. Right, right, right. It's a common mistake. The undead heroes are in the other game. No joking. My other game and the Undead game are usually bundled together, so it's an easy mistake to make. My apologies. Think nothing of it. Now it's time for you to die. Well, die again. I'll make sure it takes this time. Okay, so... It's so weak against ice, earth, whatever that is, and lightning. Watch out for its 1-2 hit. It's 5,000 HPs. And I guess I should definitely poise him just to get that um, passive damage going. I'll turn him insane at some point. Alright, we get defense up for the party. That's exactly what I want. Get that par party regen going. Not weak to swords. Okay, that's doing plenty good damage. Not hyper mode yet. Well, let's make him unstoppable. Uh, nah, she's still got plenty of HP. Damn, he's still got a ton of HP left. Oh, that wasn't even worth it. Alright, now we can get the party regen going. Is the protect down already?
It's hard to tell. Like, I can't tell what, where their buffs are. This guy's just going to take forever, isn't he? Oh, 5.45. Nice. Ooh. Did not like that. Well, I can tell there's a debuff on him. Because it's uh, making it very noticeable. I haven't even used any items, so no, no points in it. Wow, he's doing 100 damage. All right, I'm gonna have to, to restore my powers here. drop his damage and it didn't work. I think defense down with vulnerable would be a good combo right now. Yikes! Oh wait, we, we could do uh... Oh, she doesn't... I thought she had it. Okay, so what I want to do is just heal you then. doesn't like Cthulhu here. Negative 97 HPs, which means he's going down after this. Now he's vulnerable. Oh, he's almost... We're getting him there. He 
know what, let's just throw a present because... Alright, that, that did some good damage. Oh no, I don't like that. Almost, almost done though. Okay, there, we got him. Okay, we got 15,000 XP, everybody's level 22. Bootleg, the next item used is free. Party for a 35% heal. Okay, I like that. 50% uh, speed up for four turns. Taunt up. This cannot be, how could I have been defeated so easily? It happens to the best of villains. It's nothing to be ashamed about. It will take years for this land to regain its former beauty, but you can begin to atone by telling us where Santa is. I know not. The other four, I mean three, members of the Christmas League of Evil keep his location a tight secret. Grandfather, I will rescue you, no matter what the cost. Where can we find the next League member? Answer me! Oh, don't worry about that. It'll find you. <laughs> and with that, the Merry Blue vanishes. That was ominous. What next, boss? We should return back to town and prepare for the fights ahead. Quickly before the locked up reindeer notice us and make us rescue them. Ahem. Fine, you can let them go free. I can't believe your Dark Lord, who is me, is so benevolent. I haven't been able to find anything about the remaining League of Christmas Evil members. You worry too much, take it easy. The Merry Blalala said they would come to us. Relax. Relax? How could I possibly relax? Every day that we don't rescue Santa is another day that Christmas doesn't come. Is it really so bad for it to be so perpetually Christmas Eve? All the anticipation of presents without the crushing disappointment. I'm with you, boss. I never get what I want for Christmas. That's because you two are on the naughty list. Your experience isn't indicative of everyone else. You're telling me that Cluck Cluck doesn't deserve any presents? That can't be right. Bagok! Chicken presents aren't really under Santa's jurisdiction. He has claws in his name. I shouldn't need a chicken claws just to get some presents for Cluck Cluck. Hey you three, has this town always sounded this gloomy? Now that you mention it, the carolers do sound less lively than normal. Could it be a port? Can carolers sense impending doom? Is that a power they have? Yes. Carolers can sense impending doom, just like cows can tell the weather. Or maybe it's not that carolers can sense doom so much as they're part of it. That theory is so ridiculous, it must be true. Alright, well I'm going to end this one here, so leave a like, comment, or subscribe down below. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all next time.